Ah, yeah, the Rest Pi, Arduino, autonomous, Wi-Fi driven. Um, machine learning car is getting ahead with some 3D printed parts. 3D printed parts, you say? Yeah, 3D printed parts. I've made a platform out of three nice parts, which also encases the battery nicely in the housing of this old car here. And that's made with hampoline. Hampoline. Hampoline is hemp plastic. So that's 100% bio biodegradable, eco-friendly, environment-friendly, unlike Trump. Uh, plastics. This biodegrades in about three to six months when exposed to bacteria, composting uh, enzymes and, and moisture. But when you run it indoors or for races and you just dry it off nicely afterwards, it's not, not a big deal. So this took me about uh, two hours of design, well, one and a half hours of design work and uh, to st and about mm, four hours of printing to make these three platform thingies and attach them to this uh, nice little vehicle here. So now we've got enough space to fit all the shit we want on there, on there, to make it do whatever we want it to do. See, so we can put a Raspberry Pi there behind, P.S. my camera is in there, so that should be mm, around there somewhere in the front. And I've also printed some um, 3D. Let's see, uh, on the Ultimaker, it's still there. I've printed some um, holders, some some supports for the um, what you might call it, the H H C S R O four. Sonar sensors that you can hook up to the Raspberry Pi and the Arduinos and this is my setup one front sensor and two uh, Side sensors that you can point out at like 30 degrees or 45 degrees Angles or whatever you choose to to find your way because this is not going to be a slow car This is going to be a racing car that'll make some speed and try to stay in the middle of tracks Not not like the little white paper cards you've seen before Okay, so that's that setup. You can find the files in on Thingy first for for all the objects I'm making, and I'll I'll hook them up in the in the descriptions later. So that's the car. Focus. Yes, thank you. That's the car uh, with its parts, the pie lying on there, the, the Arduino and the developer hat, and a uh, what's the other one? That's a small uh, uh, motor hat in the middle motor driver hat in the middle and, and, and servo hat but that won't be used because this engine here is much bigger it's a Mabuchi, Mabuchi 7.2 volt uh, RC engine so we need a bigger 12 volt 43 amp motor driver for that instead of an escape because it escape is just not the way to go for these uh, autonomous cars you need, need you need a proper uh, motor controller to do forward backwards in and different at different speeds and and use some braking on these engines it's better with a motor controller in my opinion so that's it for today the new hampoline remember that shit because if you make something in hampoline and you toss it out it's not that much of a problem for the environment it breaks down it's fully biodegradable and fully safe for the, for the environment uh, it breaks down and, and becomes uh, compost again, and you can grow new hemp on it, your weed for instance. By the way, this was printed with an 0.6mm nozzle at 0.3mm layer height for speed and usability, not for you, for beauty, but you can see it, it still made a pretty perfect nice little print with the Ultimaker, I love that machine. Biodegradable Hampoline, remember that. Look us up, hampoline.com, gagatrading.com. You can send me an email to, uh, about the filaments if you want to do wholesale and stuff. Uh, uh, we make it. Uh, you can uh, send me an email at Peter at, uh, I'll put it in description, okay? See you later, guys. That's Link out.